All right, so let's go through three poses that will help ease nerve, pinch nerve in the low back um, in particular. And it does this by creating more space between the vertebrae. So the first one that we're going to work on is your basic bridge pose. And come on back onto your back, the knees back. Arms by your side, palms down, feet are parallel, and pointing forward. Ground the shoulders, lift your hips. Now you want to ease into this carefully, okay? And this video is for those people that have already been to a doctor, they know they have a pinched nerve, they're in a lot of pain. So you've got to do what feels okay for you. So I want you to be really mindful and move slowly as you do this stretch. Draw the stomach in, it's going to support your low back, and just observe the pose, and notice what you're feeling, and then bring it back down, vertebrae, vertebrae, slowly, mindfully, and release, let your low back arch a little. Now I want you to peel your way back up, so you're going to tuck the tailbone gently, and lift the hips. Roll your way up your spine, take a breath at the top, then roll from the top of your spine back down, hitting one vertebrae at a time, and release, arch your back, and we'll do that one more time. And you can pause the video and do this a number of times. I'm just taking you through the initial pose, breathe at the top, and roll from vertebrae to vertebrae back down. Good, now bring one knee at a time towards your chest, hold the knees, let them open a little, and rock side to side, get a little circulation into the kidneys, into the low back. We have all those nerve endings. Now roll to your side, and you're going to use your arms to bring yourself up, not your back. And come on around, extending the legs. So our next pose is seated forward fold. Reset the sitting bones, and you do need a strap here. Sit up tall and place the strap on your, the ball of your feet. Take a deep breath, and as you come forward, you're moving from the hips with a flat back. It's not a very deep move, okay? You're going to stretch the hamstrings, which oftentimes can cause problems in the low back if they're tight. Take a breath up. We're moving dynamically. Exhale into it. Inhale back up. And again, just go as deep as you feel you can go here, okay? You may only move a couple inches, and that's all right. Exhale into the stretch. And that fact, no, Addie. <laughs> go on, sweetie. Go on, go on. She wants me to do down dog. Go, 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 go. Love you too. All right, go on, go on, go, go. Go on, lay down. X. <laughs> I guess I should have shut the door. Addie, go. Go, 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 go. Out, out. Go on. All right, so that was fun. Now, let's move to Cobra. Cobra is one of those poses that's kind of difficult for many people. So spin around, come onto your hands and knees first, and let's just gently round the back, draw the stomach in, open to cow, and this is where you have to be really careful. You're going to lift your sitting bones and pull the shoulders back. A couple more. Exhale as you round. Inhale, open. Create that space. This is actually really good for the discs in general. All right, now make your way onto the elbows and your legs should be straight and pressing into the floor. Your feet about hip distance apart. Good. Come on down, placing your hands under the shoulders, fingers apart, and pull the elbows in behind you. Now you just keep your chin slightly tucked you're pressing your pubic bone into the floor. 
And we're gonna do low cobra first. Roll the shoulders and just lift the chest. So the hips are completely on the floor and back down. Now it's really important before you bring the chest up, you ground the sacrum. This is the part of your back that's right above the tailbone. So you're gonna press that sacrum in, then lift. Keep the feet on the floor, legs grounded. And back up. Now if you're okay with that, you can go a little higher into the full pose where the pubic bone just slightly comes up. So ground the sacrum and legs, Roll the shoulders up and back and just let your hips lift a little higher. Open the chest, pull the head back. You're going to feel your back muscles working. Then bring it back down slowly with the help of the hands, arms, and release. Good, let's try that again. Press first the sacrum in, roll it up, find your edge. Keep pressing the sacrum in. That's so key. And release back down. Now bring the elbows back to the floor. You're going to use the whole arms to help you up, help you come up. Push into the arms, lift your hips, use your knees, and walk the elbows back. Fold the hands in front. Forehead on your hands for child's pose. Another pose that stretches opens up the spine. Deep breath into that big stretch. Try to relax. You really want your back to kind of round in child's pose. Good. I hope this helps. Take your time doing these poses, please. And there's a comment that you can make on my channel. So if you have any questions, please, please ask. And I hope that helps for those that ever end up with a pinched nerve in their low back. All right, make it a great day. See you later.